I'm your chapter president, Steve Schlisky. The Governor's Award is the highest award a chapter of the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences can bestow. This year, the Board of Governors has unanimously selected Sacramento's Elliot Troshinsky, President and General Manager of the duopoly of KCRA and KQCA. Throughout the decades, Elliot has been a champion of the television community, often donating precious hours of airtime to both raise money and awareness during times of crisis. Tonight, presenting this prestigious award to Elliot is KCRA veteran anchor Edie Lambert. I am delighted to introduce this year's recipient of the highest honor bestowed by our local chapter of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. Mr. Elliot Trashinsky is this year's Governor's Award honoree. Now the first thing you need to know is that no one calls him Mr. Trashinsky. To us he's ET. He is the President and General Manager of Sacramento's NBC affiliate KCRA3 and KQCA My58. And for 20 years he has led our team to dominance, not just in this region, but up and down the West Coast and across the nation. A little background here, E.T. knows his stuff because he's been doing this a while. His 50 years in the industry includes work in Miami, Philly, Kansas City, Missouri, and KMAX here in Sacramento. I was at a performing arts school in New York. Elliot was living in Pennsylvania, and I wound up going to the same college as Elliot. We started dating while he was in a rock band, and I was the groupie. And in 1971, Elliot graduated and went for his first job in broadcasting. It's, it's history from there. Um, Elliot's had a wonderful 20-year career with Hearst, and uh, they have been a great supporter of his, and he is just so proud of the people that have worked with him and for him. He's got a, a heart of gold, and he's got a core that really strikes to, to being a family man, being a person and a good-hearted boss rather than just um, leading a group. He, he gives 100% of himself in everything that he does and whoever he's touched and he's a pretty special guy. It's not just about the ratings, though E.T. does love to celebrate the ratings. His remarkable career has been dedicated to excellent journalism and community service. I've worked with E.T. through floods, wildfires, massive protests, earthquakes, now a pandemic, in addition to comprehensive political coverage. And under his leadership, we don't just raise awareness, we have raised millions of dollars to help people in crisis through telethons and food and toy drives. We've helped our neighbors and people all around the world time and again. And we can only have this kind of reach and this level of depth because E.T. has the deep community connections to make it happen. He brings a combination of intelligence and warmth to his relationships and his career is based on integrity. So really in short, people like him and trust him. And that has led to great things for both Channel 3 and My58. On behalf of all of us, we are so proud of you, E.T. After all the years you've stood behind us, it's our turn to stand behind you as you're now honored with the Natus Governor's Award. Elliot, you've distinguished yourself in Northern California and among your Hearst television colleagues. Congratulations on this tremendous honor. I want to offer Elliot my congratulations and best of luck on a terrific broadcast career. Congratulations, E.T. I'm honored that I worked with you at KCRA and KQCA, and congratulations on this honor. Hey, E.T., congratulations on your Governor's Award. The impact you've had on our industry can be felt all the way from Connecticut to California. Thanks for all you've done. Congratulations. Elliot, congratulations on winning the Northern California Natus Governor's Award. What a terrific accomplishment. A great way to cap off a remarkable career. Thank you for honoring him. Thank you, Hearst. Thank you, KCRA. Thank you, KQCA. Um, all the, the managers and staff have been nothing but marvelous to Elliot and, and myself and our children. And um, it's given us a lot to look back on one day and be so grateful for. So I thank you. This is an unusual way to give an acceptance speech, but uh, we are living through unusual times. Um, to say that I was surprised and honored and humbled when I got word that I was going to receive this special award would be an understatement. So I do want to thank the Board of Governors and the entire 
uh, Northern California chapter of NATAS for this special recognition. Uh, I really, truly appreciate it. As I've said to many people over the years that uh, I've been blessed to be in a business that I love and work with tremendously talented people. And uh, I just am so grateful to be able to um, thank you all for this very special recognition. A uh, good friend of mine always said that you didn't have to be the smartest person in the room. You just had to surround yourself with smart, passionate, dedicated people who uh, just want to win, but they want to win by doing the right thing. So I've been very fortunate to have those people surround me throughout my career. I also want to thank all the people, all my colleagues at KCRA and KQCA for the amazing work that they do every day. They really made me look good for many, many years, and I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. And uh, most importantly, I want to thank the most important person in my life, my wife, Shelly, for her support throughout the years. She's my partner, my best friend for over 50 years, and she's supported me and our family no matter where we've lived, and I can't thank her enough. So thank you all for this very special honor.